Hey everybody, Jake here for Dude Ranch DIY. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a firewood delivery. We're going to load up three full IBC tow baskets into the international dump truck behind me. And uh, we're gonna take them on about a half hour journey back to actually my old hometown and uh, deliver it to a existing client who's bought firewood from me for like the past two or three years now. So uh, here we go. Okay guys, so this delivery is going to be three of the smaller baskets. Um, this, like I said, is an existing client. This is what he has ordered the past two or three years. I'm not quite exactly sure how long he's been buying from me, but all of this or all of this wood in these totes is my most seasoned stuff. This is all leftover from last year. Um, this was basically uh, my reserve because I wasn't sure how much me and my father were going to burn in our two respective houses over last winter. Um, all of this wood going that way is all new stuff. Um, hopefully this stuff just to the left of this white oak um, will start to be ready towards the um, you know end of the summer um, beginning or I'm sorry end of the fall um, once the firewood you know season really starts picking up um, this stuff has been split for a while and it gets chronologically like newer um, meaning you know down by the rock there that last tote is some of the most recent wood that I've split and then if you've been following along, this white oak tree is kind of my dividing line um, because I ran out of room going to the left. So now I'm going to be going to the right to fill in all of this area, um, which, you know, I'm slowly taking away this old stock as uh, orders come in. So again, this first tote right here to the right of the white oak tree is um, going to be the most seasoned, you know, once all of this area is filled in and it'll chronologically get less and less seasoned, you know, um, going that way. So this white oak tree is kind of the dividing line. So um, we are going to pop off this tarp here and uh, pull out, I'll probably just go with this first row, these first three baskets um, and pull those out with the tractor. We gotta drop the dumpster can down to the ground to make loading easy and a breeze. And uh, we're gonna be dumping some firewood into a dumpster can. So here we go. So I get a decent amount of questions um, regarding these tarps and why I have these tarps and everything. And uh, as I'm cutting off the tarp here, I figured I'd share a little bit with you. Um, so basically these tarps were left over from when I was living at my buddy Sam's. And for those of you that have been following the channel for a while now, you'll remember, uh, but this channel actually started out at a completely, that's a big spider's web. Um, this channel started at a completely different property. Um, and I'm trying not to get too wet here. And so see, this is one of the reasons why I don't <laughs> use these tarps anymore or I'm phasing them out. So yeah, I was at a different property. Um, that property was situated much closer to the road and it was my buddy Sam's house. And we didn't want to draw too much attention to the fact that we had all this firewood sitting out there. It's pretty close to the road. Um, so these brown tarps were just a little bit less intrusive than, you know, these white, uh, you know, lids or whatever you want to call them cutoffs from the bladder so that's why i was using those tarps i also didn't have i mean I, I guess i could have made but i i just wasn't willing to cut the bladders at the time i was just bringing them straight to the dump uh, where they would recycle them and it was pretty easy um, but now that i have all this property and area and room and it's not really visible um, there's actually a big hill behind you that separates the wood yard and all this area from the house um, you can't really see it from the street can't see it from the house so I don't really care what it looks like. So that's why I've converted over to using these IBC um, bladder like lids, so to speak. And they're super easy. I secure them with the bungee cords. That way the wind doesn't blow them off and none of the water pools like these tarps. And uh, I don't have to deal with zip ties and everything. So uh, this tarp is now totally off and we only got one more tarp to go. And then we will be done with the tarps only using the bladders. Man, 
This water that was sitting on here stinks. But underneath sure is some nice dry firewood. Got the first tote pulled out. I need to drop the dumpster can down to the ground. So here we go. Man, I love this truck. Doesn't get much easier than that. Um, all right, let's load the first basket. All right, now you're gonna notice that the face of this tote is completely cut out. Um, that's something I experimented with, but as you can see, the sides of the tote are kind of bowing out because there isn't any, uh, you know, thing really holding them together, no structural rigidity in the front. So um, in the interest of trying to preserve this tote's life and longevity, I'm not going to hook the chains up to the tote and just dump it out while it's on the pallet forks. I'm going to do uh, the flip over method like I just emptied this one. That's why I emptied this one to the right. Now I'm gonna bring this one more so to the left. Um, and then the third tote will be dumped down in the back, like kind of in the center. So um, I don't know, it just started drizzling a little bit. Let's hurry this process up. Guys, I just screwed up. I just dumped that second tote and I forgot to hit record. I may have captured it on the GoPro up on the ROPS, um, man. That was a nice, good dump. You can see how tight uh, I got it up to the front there. Nice load of wood so far in there. Two totes down, one tote to go. That one's my next culprit. Here we go.
Dang guys, I am really messing up today. Forgot to hit record on the other camera. Didn't check this camera. Who's in time lapse the whole time? I'll put the time lapse in, but you missed the whole ninja mouse thing. I I don't even know if that's gonna make sense now. Maybe maybe the other camera picked up the ninja mouse, but there was a mouse on the bottom of the IBC tote doing the trapeze. And I chased him under one of those totes over there. But you don't see it because this camera was on time lapse. Oh well, such is life. I got to uh, push some of that firewood in a little bit. I'm just going to use the pallet fork frame here, push it in so I can shut the door. So now I should be able to shut the door. Let's move these couple pieces, a little kindling, and uh, should be good to go. But this hook lift truck makes life way easier. Um, so that's all the wood. That camera's still hanging on precariously. Shut this door like this. See? I'm in a rush now, if you couldn't tell, because it took me an hour and a half to drive home. It normally takes me like 37 minutes to get into work, but uh, today is Friday. You'll probably see this video on Sunday, but on Fridays, sometimes it takes me two hours to get home. So all things considered, an hour and a half, I guess, isn't that bad, but still an hour and a half as opposed to like 35, 37 minutes. So we gotta load this thing up, get this dumpster on the back of the truck. Don't wanna forget my camera. And uh, we got a 5.30 deadline. So we got about 15 minutes before uh, we gotta leave the house. So here we go. All right, we gotta put the tractor away and get my two furry firewood friends. And then uh, we're gonna hop in the truck, go for the delivery. Can't go anywhere without my boys, Gus and Lou. Woo -hoo. There they are. What's up guys? Hey Gus, hey Lou, you guys want to go on a firewood delivery? You want to go on a firewood delivery, buddy? Huh? You want to come, Lou? You want to come too? You want to come too? All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Well, we came inside for a quick uh, hydrate session. Louie and Gus managed to get water all over the floor, but I figured I'd give you guys a quick turtle update. Uh, a couple days ago, I went and got six tetra fish. They're like neon and maybe like Colombian tetra, Peruvian tetra fish. Um, two of each like species, but they're all of the tetra like family, I guess. The uh, turtles are getting bigger day by day. We got this whole little ecosystem going in here and uh, everybody is getting along great. So for those of you interested in the turtles, they're doing A-OK. -okay. Also, in the comments below, give me some suggestions for, uh, for names of turtles because they just go nameless. I honestly can't tell the difference between any of them. They all like kind of look the same. But um, yeah, go ahead, throw some suggestions for names down in the comment section below. Here we go, firewood delivery time. All right, guys, you ready? Come on, get in the truck, let's go. Good boy. Yeah, all right, Gus, good job. Good boys. No, Lou, that's where I sit. Are you driving, Lou? Who's driving? I'm driving. I'm driving.
Well guys, that's gonna wrap this one up. I got home a little bit ago, brought the dogs in the house, had to feed them and everything. It's past their feeding time, so they were getting a little hangry. Um, totally forgot to do a ending to the video, but I got a cold one in my hand. And I'm about to fire up the big green egg there behind me. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed coming along for the firewood delivery um, of the three baskets. The customer was very happy with the wood. I was happy with the money that I got. And, uh, you know, all's well that ends well. So um, thanks as always for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. Any questions, comments, or feedback, throw it down in that comment section. But for now, I'm Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.